So, if you've listened to the last episode of the podcast with Dylan Bowman, you know that I have just committed to a comeback. Let's giddy up. I just took you through an easy run with some hill strides and I'm really excited because I've committed to a comeback. You see, I haven't really been training over the last couple years. I've been running and I've been running very consistently. I've been doing long runs and workouts and strides and dynamic warm-ups and core and strength work and all the things that are included in training, but there hasn't been any progressive overload. I've really just been sort of running the same mileage levels. I haven't been progressing any of my workouts. And so my fitness hasn't grown. In fact, it has declined. I am in the worst shape I've arguably ever been in, but I'm starting to get excited about training again. For a long time, I wasn't, but I'm gonna train now. And I invite you to follow along with me. If you are not in as great shape as you maybe once were. Maybe you just haven't been as consistent as you'd like to be. Or maybe you're not even running right now, but you're thinking about getting back into it. Let's do it together. In the description of this video, I've included a link to the Team Strength Running Strava Group. Even if you're not on the team, I want you to join our Strava Group so that you can get all of the kudos and positive peer pressure from the hundreds of members we have in this group. It's gonna give us the accountability and the motivation to continue being consistent with our training. Now, it's important to remember that comebacks don't happen all at once. This is going to be a long process. And the way that I'm gonna approach this is with a short but very consistent training block leading up to a 5K time trial. I have a 5K time trial in about two and a half weeks. And the goal of this time trial is to set a baseline. I wanna get a little bit of training underneath me, so maybe four, six weeks of consistent running, consistent workouts and long runs, and then let's see what I can do in a 5K time trial. I'll try to run as hard as I can, haven't done that in a while. (laughs) We'll see what happens, and then I'll have a good idea of what I'm currently capable of, and that will help guide the rest of my training over the following months. And it's a good thing that we're nearing the end of winter. I can see spring a little bit over the horizon. And that's really exciting for me because that means I'm gonna be able to get on the mountain trails a lot more and have those longer trail adventures that so feed my soul. So I know what gets me excited about running and that is what's going to be helpful for me as I try to run more, try to be more consistent. It's super hard, especially as you get a little bit older, but Let's do this together, let's have fun, and let's see if we can get back to where we used to be. Thank you Prevenex for sponsoring this video. I have never partnered with a supplement company until now. And that's because Prevenex is, in my view, the best kind of supplement company to partner with. They are voluntarily putting themselves under much more scrutiny than other supplement companies. And their process for creating the best supplements is hands down far superior to any others. Prevenex only uses the most bioavailable, clinically tested ingredients. The optimal form and dose of each ingredient, pharmaceutical grade manufacturing, testing of both raw ingredients and finished products, and for every purchase that you make, they're going to donate a bottle of kids' vitamins to kids in need. Now, of course, the proof is in the pudding, and I was a little skeptical because, like most people, I just wasn't sure if I was going to experience any real tangible benefits from taking their supplements. So I put them to the test, and I've been taking their immune support product and also their multivitamin for the last eight weeks. And guess what? I have stayed healthy the entire time. I've got three kids in two schools, and I know that I've got to support my immune system. 
Prevenex is helping keep me healthy so that I can focus on my running during these winter months when cold season is upon us. But if you don't have to protect yourself from little kid germs, one product you as a runner is probably gonna like is their Joint Health product. Joint Health is clinically proven in double-blinded placebo-controlled studies to actually improve joint stiffness, to reduce joint pain, and improve joint flexibility in only seven to 10 days, which is almost unheard of. So if joint performance, longevity, and your health are important to you, go to Prevenex.com and use code JASON15. You'll be able to save 15% on whatever you add to your cart. That's Prevenex.com and JASON15 for 15% off your order. Now, if you are making a comeback, let's go over a couple pieces of quick advice I have for you. And I'm gonna be trying to follow these as well. Number one, I am not being arrogant about my abilities right now. I have been doing some runs around nine minute mile pace. And for me, that's about two minutes a mile slower than my easy running pace from a decade ago. True, I'm not at sea level anymore. True, I'm not in my 20s anymore. But I have to just accept the fact that sometimes my body just wants to run slower. Sometimes it's a good idea for me to run slower, even if I can run faster, and I'm going to be okay with that. I'm not gonna hold myself to some artificially high standard, which is going to increase the intensity of my training needlessly and increase my risk for an injury. The pace of my easy runs is not really what's going to determine my fitness level or what I can do in a race. It's my overall consistency, my volume, the workouts that I'm doing, and any uh, uh, tune-up races that I'm doing. That's where most of my results are gonna come from, not in trying to run too fast on an easy run. Now, I also mentioned this when I was doing hill strides, but I'm gonna be trying to stay on either end of the intensity spectrum. I'm not gonna be doing a lot of VO2 max, 5K pace oriented work. I'm gonna be working on the easy range, the tempo range, you know, the aerobic range of the effort spectrum. Also, the very fast end of the spectrum. I'm gonna be doing a lot of strides, hill sprints, hill strides, because I really wanna be developing speed and power, but I'm not ready to have those two meet in the middle with those really challenging race-specific workouts. Not yet anyway, I'll get there, but for now, I'm gonna stay on the poles. And if you are coming back right now from a long period of time off, I suggest you do the same too. You can look back on our YouTube channel a couple months ago. I'll put a link under this video. I published a video on this spectrum of intensity and talked in more detail about this spectrum and that why it's a really good idea for you to stay on either end if you're a beginner or if you're very prone to injury. If you're coming back from a, after a long period of time off, you're kind of like a beginner, so it's a good idea to stay on either end of this intensity spectrum. A big part of my comeback is hill work. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of hill strides, hill sprints, and hill workouts. Not only because I just want the strength that comes from hill work, but it's also slightly better from an injury prevention perspective because you're not slamming into the ground as much as you normally would be if you're running on flat ground. So if you're like me, if you're a little bit injury prone, you're making a comeback, you're starting to do more than you have in a very long time, let's look for any opportunity to build strength in our training, whether that's weightlifting, body weight, strength, or doing a lot of hill work, that kind of training is really gonna help you stay healthy in the long term, especially when you're building mileage. Hey, you see those cool shoes I was wearing? That's another way that I am helping along my comeback. I have bought probably too much new running gear in the last couple weeks because I want to be excited about running. I wanna be excited to train every day, even if I'm feeling more tired or sore than usual. And so today, I took my new Asics Magic Speed Ekadins out for their maiden voyage. It was wonderful. These shoes are definitely built for speed and I can't wait to do that upcoming 5K time trial in them. So if you're struggling to get back into the consistent swing of training, then some new gear might be really helpful for you. I know for me, a new pair of shoes, maybe a, 
a hot new pair of sunglasses or something like that is what's really gonna get me excited to get out the door every day. So runners, let's do this together. Let's get back into shape. Let's recommit ourselves to training in this wonderful sport that we all love. I think I've missed feeling in shape. I think I've missed the feeling of, of capability, the feeling of fitness that comes from being able to go and run 20 miles or being able to run a, a five minute mile. It's been a long time since I've done either of those things and I'd like to get back to it. Now, you may not wanna run 20 miles or you may never be able to run a five minute mile. Actually, I'm not sure if I ever can run a five minute mile again. That's a good challenge. I'm gonna think about that. But no matter where you are in your personal running journey, let's increase our training. Let's get back on the wagon together. Join our Strava group. The link is in the bio underneath the description underneath this video. And let's get to training and let's make 2023 one of our best years yet.